What's up, y'all? It's Daniel, your Shumalier. I, like many sneakerheads out there, really fell in love with the Ultra Boost silhouette. Not just because of the ultra comfortable, squishy boost technology, but because of the way the prime knit upper fit, the silhouette, obviously, and just everything about maybe the colorways and collabs and storylines that the Ultra Boost went through from 1.0 to 5.0 to the 19, 2021, and now we are in 2022. And while the Ultra Boost silhouette has lost quite a bit of its luster. That hasn't changed the fact that it is arguably one of, if not the most comfortable shoe on the market. And I've had dozens of Ultra Boost colorways in my collection over the last number of years. And I've gotten rid of some, I've sold some, I've worn some out, I've traded some, given some away. And really the only reason I'll buy new Ultra Boosts is if the colorways or the collaborations or the stories really catch my interest. I'm really partial to the latest 1.0 DNA colorways, but sometimes a new iteration comes out that really catches my attention and the Ultra Boost 2021 silhouette and now the 2022 really did that as it's way more comfortable and way better looking in my opinion than any of the other Ultra Boost silhouettes before it. And I realized that they borrowed heavily from the Adidas Yeezy Boost 380 which is my favorite silhouette of all the Yeezy family. And while up to this point, I only owned one pair of Ultra Boost 2021s and I've yet to try the 2022s, I've been sitting on a shoe, a colorway, a silhouette, a collaboration on GOAT, waiting for the price to come down to something where I felt like, yeah, I'll buy that shoe. And this silhouette did release last year in the middle of 2021, but the price was finally right. And I love the collaborations between these two companies. So today we're gonna talk about the Parley and Ultra Boost 2021 non-dyed black. Parley's ongoing partnership with Adidas has encompassed a handful of models and the collection of eco-conscious footwear continues with the Ocean Conservation Organization using recycled materials to construct a performance-focused Adidas Ultra Boost 21. The latest addition to the Ultra Boost franchise ditches its usual knit uppers for a recycled textile composition that boasts a colorless, non-dyed neutral tone. The off-white upper is composed of stretch textile, mesh, and ripstop, all made in part with upcycled plastic waste that's collected from beaches and coastal communities before it drifts out to sea. In addition, the sides are void of any Three Stripes branding. Tonal, nylon-like tabs and zigzag stitches are details that deliver a raw look while still maintaining a minimalist aesthetic. Furthermore, a white label detailing the model's construction is stitched to the tongue sideways. A dynamic rope lacing system delivers a secure fit, while a black translucent heel counter deviates from the off-white base, but the white stacked boost foam sole resumes the cream color agenda. Dual Adidas and Parley branding appears on woven tags affixed to the sneaker's tongue and heel. The minimalist build is mounted on a full-length boost midsole supported underfoot by a continental rubber outsole. To complete the look, blue applied to the outsole is visible from the sides, adding a final touch of color. The Parley and Ultra Boost 21 non-dyed black released on June 3rd, 2021 and retailed for 200 US American dollars. Now, when it comes to fit, I'm a size nine across the board. Ultra Boost, Air Force Ones, Jordan Ones, Pumas, New Balance, Asics, etc. I have a normal size foot. It's not wide. I like room in the toe box so that I can wiggle my toes and I don't like a lot of lockdown in the midfoot. I have said my shoe size is probably closer to a 9.25, but that size doesn't exist. So I get a nine and if it doesn't fit, I remove the insole and that usually works out. Or I get a nine and a half and if that doesn't fit, well, I'd probably just wear a thicker sock or maybe tie my shoes just a little bit tighter. But in this silhouette, my second pair of Ultra Boost 21s, I ordered my true to size, which is a size nine, and I think it fits fine. I'm still gonna have to remove the insole in order to get the fit that I desire. But I was wearing a thicker sock while wearing this shoe and my feet had swollen throughout the day. So it's entirely possible that the shoe actually fits true to size, but for me, I feel like I still have to remove the insole to give me just a little bit more wiggle room because that's what I like in my shoe. So if you like a slightly tighter fit, a little bit more lockdown in the midfoot and ankle area, true to size is gonna work for you just fine. 
but if you like a looser fit, maybe a little bit more wiggle room, you may consider either going true to size and removing the insole or possibly going up half a size. However, that will probably give you a little bit more room than you maybe want. But as we say, if you can try on an Ultra Boost 2021 any colorway, go for it so that you can find out what the best fit for your foot is. And when it comes to comfort, this Ultra Boost 2021, this silhouette, this colorway, and the other colorways to me are the most comfortable Ultra Boost silhouettes thus far. I know some people don't like that big butt of thick with two C's or a Q boost on the back. I do. I love the squish. I love the bounce. I love the cotton candy feeling. So to me, this is another very comfortable addition to the Ultra Boost family. The most comfortable in my opinion. It's super comfortable and it will immediately be added to the beater shelves in the hallway by the front door. Not because these are bad shoes, but because I can see myself wearing this shoe, not every day, but way more than I would wear some of the other shoes that are back here on Mont Schumore. It's a great shoe, good addition, super comfortable. If you like the shoe, you can probably find it for under retail at your favorite resale site, depending on your shoe size. So definitely check it out. And there we go, my thoughts on the Parley and Ultra Boost 21 non-dyed black. Let's talk in the comment section down below what you think about the Parley Ultra Boost, the Ultra Boost 21, the new upper, anything. You know, I know Ultra Boost hype is all but dead, pretty much dead. Like, can we just call it dead? But I don't care. As we have said many times on this channel, I don't care if a shoe is hyped. I don't care if it's limited. If I like the shoe, I'm gonna get it. And if I don't like the shoe, I'm not gonna get it. And I'm through well past the point from just buying a shoe to review it and then just either return it or sell it or anything like that. If I buy the shoe here, it's because I like it. It's because I'm gonna wear it. It's because I want it. And I'm not just gonna do it for the clicks because let's be honest, Somebody else has probably already reviewed the shoe weeks before I ever have. So at this point of the game, I only review shoes that I like and that I want or that have like a special story and deserve a little bit of uh, content creation. But I love the shoe, love the silhouette, love the colorway. Love to hear what you think in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.